In this example, I'm going to show you about duplicate listings and how to fix them in Google Business. If you search for a person, say your own business, uh, let's go for new client, which is having issues with two uh, locations that have been on Google Business and AKA Google Maps. Now this is a huge issue for local search. Uh, you do not want duplicates of your business location in other locations. It creates conflict for Google to, to rank you and can lower your search rankings. So in this example we've got the correct location with five um, uh, reviews or a five-star review which that makes it pretty darn important along with it is in the right location for uh, Underwood Construction. But this one however is totally incorrect um, with this address. So what do we want to do? Well, uh, for this, if you go on, you know, and you, you search for how to walk through this, you're going to want to make sure that you're signed in number one um, to your Google account, which is usually your Gmail account. Click on suggest and edit, and it'll take you to the one that you've selected. And now you have some items here, which uh, it shows you right here that permanent place is permanently closed or has never existed. So this is where you would click and get yes to. In this example, it never existed um, here. So this is uh, definitely uh, to wipe out. So if we submit this, now Google will work on getting rid of that and blowing this one away. So I'm going to take a screen snap of this for the client and hopefully um, you get an email when your suggestion is reviewed. Okay, and that's about it and we'll have to wait to go back to Google search. Within minutes of uh, publishing that edit uh, to remove that second listing from Google Maps, I receive an email and you will too, you should check because like I said, you must be logged in to Google uh, so that Google Maps can then send you a email and we get it. Your edit to Underwood Construction has been published. Note that some change may take 24 hours before appearing on Google. Now, as practice, being an internet marketer and all following up on things I do, I, pla I placed a marker um, next week and every following 30 days after to check the Google uh, listings to see if things get updated and that one gets removed. Um, so I recommend that because you got to follow up on these things to check, right? And as a digital marketing agency myself, I have a lot of clients, so it's always good to make note. Anyway, I just wanted you to understand, go check your email to make sure that it has went through. And then I, let's go see if it worked within 24 to one week. Okay. And now within honestly two days, I now do a search for Underwood construction. Boom. And there is only one in Google Maps now. So this is, this officially uh, proves that this is how to clean your uh, multiple uh, Google business listings um, in cleaning, uh, doing submissions. And boom, you do the thing and it will only show the LTD, which is it in essence, cleaning Google, uh, focusing it and optimizing actually for local search, which really helps you because there's a big difference between local and organic as we know. Thank you very much for your time and I hope this helps you to clean your Google business listing so you can have better local results.